Recently, the highly anticipated 10 Years of Ninjago documentary came out, and while it wasn't really official, it's pretty much as good as official because it had the official Ninjago writers and the voice actors, everybody was in it and it was pretty great, so if you haven't checked it out already, I would totally recommend looking at that first. But with this documentary also came some never before seen concept art of Ninjago and how some seasons could have looked and how some ideas carried over and also some sets for past Ninjago seasons that never made it into the actual stores. So let's get right into it. We first have one of those cancelled sets for Season 5, and I think this one's the Cloud Kingdom. Now in the show, the Cloud Kingdom was a location that the ninja briefly visited, and it was a brand new realm at the time, and that's where they can kind of go and get the Sword of Sanctuary. Now I think this set might have been replaced where the City of Sticks, they were kind of clashing with other structure sets, but if this one came out, it would have been really cool. I like the staircases going up, and they were able to capture the essence of the Cloud Kingdom within, I think, a $50 to $60 price point, or that's what I assume looking at this build. Next up, we have a full season concept art pitch for Hunted, the one with Firstborn and everything. And this one looks like it has a lot of season 12 ideas, and through all of this concept art, you'll see that a lot of season 12 ideas kept getting pushed back until season 12, of course. So it looks like a lot of season 12 ideas just weren't liked until the actual season took place. But anyways, on the right, we see a ice dragon. So it looked like when the ninja went to the Hunted area this time, it looked a lot like the Never Island. Maybe this was supposed to be the Never Realm originally, and it looks like they might have found their original dragons here in this realm. The bad guys this time look like Vikings instead of what they look like in the show, and they're very metally, which I think that kind of pulled over to the actual season 9. As for Jay's dragon, see that's what I'm saying. The whole jets on the side concept was definitely something we saw with the cyber dragon, but Jay still did end up getting a dragon for the season and it was Stormbringer. And then we also see three posts. One is a green post, one is a red post, and one is a light blue post. And all of these might be trying to represent three different weapons, and I have a feeling that this turned into Kitanas way back in season 12. There's also this really beautiful concept art of season 12. Over there you'll see the Empire Temple of Madness. And then there's a really cool city, and it kind of looks like a Hot Wheels track is going through that. And then the green area is almost like the area Akino was in, I want to say, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't really planned back then. There's also more art of what Season 12 could have looked like, and I think this is actually before Season 11 came out, because over in the corner, you'll actually see somebody like the Ice Emperor. So maybe Season 11 was originally planned to be like this. And in the back, you also see a Blizzard Samurai with a dragon. So that's kind of like that. Oh, there's also Sushi chasing Kai in a jet. So the Sushi concept definitely stayed, and Kai still got a jet in Season 12. The cool part here is that the lighting seems a lot like the Season 13 lighting because Master of the Mountain had lava at the bottom with grey plates on the top. So whatever this season was supposed to be is a huge mashup of Season 11, 12, and 13. That turtle guy, the pink turtle guy, he looks hilarious over there. Almost wrapping up the concept arts and going over to the cancelled sets again, we have a model for the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. In the end, it didn't really end up looking like this. This looks really scary, and it looks like the tail originally was supposed to be a board game. And I'm happy they didn't really go with that. This seems more like a structure. And I think I would like this more if it was actually a statue. Imagine the journey to the Skull Dungeon set, which was pretty much this concept, but instead of the main platform, it actually had this dragon head and everything. I think that would've been pretty cool to see, although story-wise, that doesn't really add up that much. And then finally, for Season 13, this is a concept of what those spinner dice would've looked like originally. This looks pretty cool actually, but I'm pretty happy with what we got in the end. Finally, coming over to more of these cancelled Ninjago sets, I think we have Lloyd's Treehouse from way back in Season 1. I'm not sure if this is what it is completely, and if you have another idea of what this could be, I'd love to hear that in the comment section. But for what it is, it looks really cool. I like that ladder at the bottom. I don't think I've seen that in LEGO ever, or it's just been a really long time. Then we have this really wacky concept for Garmadon's Fortress or the Skull Sources Dungeon. I can't quite tell, but looking at the primitive pieces, I'm gonna guess it was supposed to represent Garmadon's Dark Fortress back then. I think if this was refined, it would have been pretty cool, but since Ninjago was just starting back then, I don't think they would risk something with such a huge parts budget. They wouldn't really want to sell something so expensive in the first wave. Then we have the original Dawn of Iron Doom, and the thing with this is that it did end up being a set, and it was supposed to be a time machine for the Time Twins. The real big differences here is the shoulders, I think they're in the right place this time. I think with the original one, the shoulders were too skinny and they were too near the chest, but this one, it's much more broad, giving it a more stronger look. I also like how the shoulder pads are being done, I like how the metal is overlapping each other. That was something I liked with the animation version 
of this mech in the show. So I like how that kind of carried over. And I think with a little bit of refining, this set would have been pretty cool to see. As for the Time Twins, I think they have green hair to represent snake material, because snakes are generally green in Ninjago, so maybe that was what it was trying to represent. And the Time Leads probably look more different than the original, because I think these are way too sharp and they're providing a safety hazard. So maybe that's why they changed. After that, we have a Ninjoid space shuttle from way back in Season 3. So in Season 3, the ninja went to space, it was a crazy set of episodes, and the ninja had a shuttle. Now, in Ninjago, the shuttle was more city looking, it was very normal looking, but if it was a set, I would assume that it looked more ninjoid looking, and this is kind of how we could expect it to look. This one looks very cool, but I'm guessing it got cancelled because the Ninjoid Mech Dragon probably took its $80 price point and uh, slot for the Ninjago Season 3 wave of sets. Then finally, we have the Enter the Serpent set, and I actually like this one 10 times more than the actual set. The actual one was actually pretty good for $50, and that one's pretty solid, but this feels like it's capturing the essence of Master Chen's island even better. I love the rock sculpting at the bottom, and you can see the tail of the purple serpent just winding up to the jail cell. So easily, a lot of stuff carried on over to the original set, the snake head at the top, the way the stairs are done, the little bone bridge at the side, and also the jail cell design. The things that didn't carry over would be the giant dirt pillars at the top. I think those are the only things that don't work. The whole color scheme was made to look a little bit more royally instead of dirty. And with that final concept art, that is all for this video, talking about all of these cancelled Ninjago sets as well as all of these could be Ninjago seasons. Comment down below which one was your favorite, which sets would you have liked to see in the stories the most, and which season looks the coolest. I think for me, my favorite piece here is the Cloud Kingdom, probably because that almost made it into stores but wasn't in the last second. Thank you for watching a concept art thoughts and opinions video, and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!